Hi guys, Jimbo here, the driving test guy in New South Wales, helping you pass your New South Wales driving test first go, hopefully. Okay, so today we're going to start a new series, the mock test series. Now, I'm going to go through with you the whole process of arriving at a test centre, parking, uh, what you need in order before you walk in the door, um, what you've got to do when you get in there, uh, what happens when you come out with the examiner, the checks they want to do on the car, and then I'll uh, basically take us around a test route. Now I've set up a computerized voice that you will hear that'll issue the instructions like an examiner would, and then I'm going to respond to them and I'll do a commentary as we go. Okay? So the idea is I want you to be ready to pass your New South Wales driving test first go. That's what I want. In order to do that, you need to be ready. In fact, you need to be Jimbo ready. So guys, are you Jimbo ready? Well, let's do it. Okay guys, so you bring your car to your test centre. This is the Gregory Hills Service New South Wales. And you've got to find where the test bays are. You can see where they are here with the other learner cars, usually with the white stripes. I like to park in a bay where you can drive out. Now if you can drive in like that easy, that's good. Uh, you might have to reverse into a bay. You won't have to reverse into a bay during your driving test. Okay, now the car that you're going to take out for the test, make sure the front, side and rear signals work on both sides. The three brake lights at the back all work, okay? Make sure that the tire tread is not smooth. Make sure there's no faulty Takata airbag. Now, if you don't know what that means, Google faulty Takata airbag. Make sure that there's no major cracking on your windscreen that might obscure vision. Now, before you walk in the door, the first thing you gotta do is make sure um, your logbook is in order. Now, if you're presenting a paper logbook like this one, you make sure that it is completely filled out correctly. Now, if you're not sure about that, watch my FAQ 003 video on filling out the logbook. If you've used the logbook app, well then make sure you have submitted it uh, at least a couple of days before you do the test. Now, you just can't walk up to the uh, examiner and say, hey, I've done my hours and show it to him because he's going to laugh at you and send you home. You make sure you've ticked everything off in there and submitted it. Now, if you don't know what that means, read the instructions on your app. Okay, now the next thing you need is a valid license. Now, most people watching this are learners, so you'll need to have your learner's license. Now, that can be the plastic license or you can actually present the app on your phone if you've got the license installed on it. If you're an overseas license holder wanting to convert to a New South Wales license, well then make sure you've checked with Service New South Wales what documents you need to take with you. Now, last thing you need is an application form. Now, here's an example of one on the screen. This is uh, the example of the PDF version you print off the, uh, off the internet. Uh, the one you actually get physically from the Service New South Wales is all green. Make sure you fill this out correctly. Name, address, date of birth, all that sort of stuff. Where it asks if you have a license, tick yes. And if you're a learner, you put down uh, the class as CLRN. You don't need your birth certificate or uh, passport if you have your learner's license with you. That will be sufficient for identification. If you have the license application form you use with your hazard perception test, then you can also use that again. Once you have all your documents in order, hop out of your car, lock up, head over to the front doors. Because of COVID, there may be a security guard there. If there's no clear signage where to wait for a driving test, just tell the security guard that you're there for a driving test and they will let you in. Okay, once you walk in the doors, you'll greet these people, the concierge. Tell them you're here for a driving test. Now, they are gonna wanna know the register of the car you're taking. So uh, give that to them and they will check that the Takata airbag is not faulty. They'll also give you a ticket. And now hold that ticket with your other documents. They will send you over to where the testing officers section is. Now, you usually will find a spot where the testing officers are where you put your documents. Currently, you put them in a manila folder, which is there, and you slot them in a rack. Now, once you've done that, just step back and wait for your, the examiner to call your name. When the examiner calls your name, go over to that examiner. They'll explain a few things to you. If they're happy with your logbook, they'll get you to sign a sheet. Then they'll tell you that you're going. Then follow that examiner out to your car. Okay, so as you're walking out to the car with the examiner, they're telling you they want to check the roadworthiness of your vehicle. So this involves the signals, the brake lights, the tires, and whether you've got major cracking on your windscreen. So you'll get in the car first, shut the door, put your belt on, and turn the dashboard on. You do not start the engine yet. So with a key, it's usually click, click, or it could be tap, tap on a button. 
but just get it to the point where the dashboard lights up but do not start the engine yet at that point the examiner is out the front and they're yelling at you right signal so you put it on they'll check the front they'll check the side they'll check the rear when they're around the back they're yelling out brake light so you press your brake and if they're happy with that then they hear them yell the other signal in this case left signal they'll check the rear side and the front and they've also checked the tires as they've walked around if they're happy with your car they will now get into the vehicle now in some manner they're going to eventually ask you are you ready to drive now before you say yes I want you to glance down at both belts and check they're both on and yours is flat. I want you to look at each of your side mirrors as though you've checked everything's good. Your chair should really be adjusted since you actually probably drove there. And then say to them, yes, I'm ready. And then they're going to say, start the engine. Okay, so let's get this show on the road. Okay, Jimbo, please start your engine and when you are ready, can you pull out to the right? Okay, so I've got it in park, my foot brake's on and I start my engine. Okay, while my foot brake's on, I put it into drive, I take the handbrake off, I put my signal on for five seconds to the right. Okay, so I need to be very careful here. I check both sides, make sure it's safe, creep out very slowly. If it looks like it's safe, I'll look right around, off we go. At the end, turn right. Okay, so I've got the right turn instruction. I like to use signals in the car park. I'm checking all these cars here. Now this uh, corner here is very blind very slowly around in case someone jumps out from one of the bays or from the side take the next right okay so right signal on we have a hazard here so uh it's kind of resolved they're out the way around we go take the next left okay so left signal on be careful of this left curb just here that you don't put your rear tire up onto it take the next left okay left signal on check up to the right actually looks pretty safe and around we go. Take the next left. Left signal on, just check the crossing here, no one's walking. Got a giveaway sign, so it's not stop sign, but roll through. You can see it's safe, so we'll just roll through. Just watching this guy on the side there, he doesn't jump out on me, that's all fine. Proceed to the end and then turn right. I'll check my mirrors, I've got my right signal on. Now this looks like a little bit busy, T intersection. You can see the traffic's queuing up a little bit. Uh, it's not a stop sign, there's no stop line, so we'll treat it like a way. Stop behind this car, I like to see a little bit of road behind the tyres there, and we just simply got to wait. They're moving up a bit, so we can move up a little bit more. Still checking. One more car to go. Okay, now, we've got to be very careful here. We've got to have a really good look. I want all lanes clear to the right, left, and look safe, and we're going. Proceed to the end and turn left at the traffic lights. Check my mirrors, indicator, check the shoulder. I like to get the car positioned early for this left turn. Now I've turned off my signal because I don't want a signal in front of the servo driveway that's coming up. Got a bit of a queue at the traffic at the moment, so I'm just keeping a bit of space with the car in front. If we have to stop, I'll see some road there. Okay, so it looks like we're kind of moving a little bit now. So just make sure we keep our space with this vehicle in front. Proceed to the end and turn left at the traffic lights. Now. I'm going to keep my signal off because if you look at the black ute there, that driveway, I don't want him thinking that I'm going into that server and he jumps out in front of me. I'll put my signal on now. So the intersection we have here is what I call a left turn slip lane. Left turn any time with care. It's got a crossing that's controlled by lights. Now the, lo the crossing is not being used at the moment, so I can head up to the end there. I'll keep an eye on that grey car in front. Now they've gone, now I'm going to look to the right. It looks safe, they're all actually stopped on red, so I'm good to go. Continue straight. Okay, so we're in an 80 zone now, so assuming I've got three second gap for the guy in front, I'm gonna get my speed up to about 75 k's an hour. I like to sit about five k's under the posted limit. We've got some yellow signs coming up and some of those red traffic cones. Now you wanna show the examiner a little bit of response, and you just ease off a bit, looked over out there to see if, if anything might enter in front of you. There is a white car there, but it's parked, so there appears to be no problem at the moment. I'll just keep proceeding straight ahead. At the traffic lights, turn left. Okay, so we have a left turn instruction that we'll need to respond to. I'll check my mirrors, I'll put my left signal on. Now if you see this line here, that creates a space where a bike or even a car could come up the side and we need to diverge over it. So we'll need to add on a left side blind spot head check. Okay, so just before we diverge, we'll check over our shoulder, it's all safe and we can diverge into the left turn lane. Now at these lights, it's got a left turn slip lane intersection. So we keep our left signal on. Now we can turn left at any time with care. 
we, we need to keep an eye on the cars in front that they have gone and we've got to check there's no one walking on the cross here. So the car in front is turning. Great, now we've got to give way to everybody with these. We check right and diagonal, it's all good. We're going to jump straight to the right hand lane because I know there's parked cars eventually in the left lane. Continue straight. Okay, notice it's now 60 zone. Now I've got a side street hazard, that red car. He looks fine. Now a car in front, this car here, could turn in front of me. I'm covering my brake. The examiner will notice this. At the roundabout, proceed straight ahead. Okay, so we have the instruction to proceed straight at the roundabout. Because we're slowing, we'll check our mirrors. Now when we enter the roundabout going straight, we do not need the signal. I'll keep my space with the cars in front. We give way to the people on the roundabout. If there's a risk of collision, I check my right zone. I wait till the white ute has exited. Good, I just check the left. We get around and then we exit signal, flash, flash, and we proceed. Continue straight. I've noticed a car on the left had his back open. I've just covered my brake case. He stepped out in front of me. That's all fine. I check all the driveways. I check the parked cars of brake lights and signals. All good. Continue straight. Okay, so at this point, we continue straight. I'm keeping our three second gap minimum with the car in front. Checking the mirrors every now and then, keeping under the speed limit, which is a 60k per hour zone. At the roundabout, turn right. Okay, so we have a right turn at the roundabout instruction. We check our mirrors, we've got the right signal on. We're already in the right hand lane, so we don't need to reposition the vehicle. We're slowing. We'll keep our eye in the car in front. We've got to give way to people on the roundabout before us. Now, once this white car proceeds, we'll be able to have a look ourselves. We'll check our right zone, oncoming zone, safe, safe. We can enter. Check the left, not going to cut in on us. Good. We keep off the island. Now this white van in front, I'm just gonna check him in case he jumps in on me. He's fine, exit signal, flash, flash, and now we exit the roundabout. Continue straight. Okay, as we proceed straight, we keep our three second gap with the car in front. We keep under the speed limit. We'll check all the parked cars and driveways and side streets. At the next roundabout, turn left. Okay, we have a left turn instruction. We need to reposition. Check the mirrors, left signal. I like to check the shoulder, get over as early as possible. I like to get the car positioned early because we may not get a better chance later. The opportunity was there to get it done now, so I took it. It'll make turning left up at the roundabout a lot easier. At the roundabout, turn left. Okay, so as we get closer to the roundabout, I'll check my mirrors. I've got my left signal on. I do not need a left shoulder here. We're pretty close to the curb. It, there's no room for a car to come up the side. As we slow, we'll check our right zone. Check oncoming. Looks safe, safe. I turn into the left lane. There's a divider line there. Further up, there's a parked truck. So I need to change lane straight away. Continue straight. Now with this truck, I'm backing off a little bit because I cannot see in front of it. It creates a hazard. I can see that it's all good. I can pick the speed back up to 55 k's an hour at the roundabout turn right. Okay, so we now have a right turn at the roundabout instruction. I've checked my mirrors, I've got my right signal on. I'm already in the right turn lane, so I do not need to reposition my vehicle. I'll check my zones, right zone, oncoming zone, all looks safe, just quickly check the left, great. We keep off the island, take it around, keeping in my lane, and now exit signal, flash, flash, exit the roundabout. Continue straight. Okay, a couple of trucks on the left. I've backed off in case something jumps out from the driveway behind, which I can't see. I continue my scans with all the parked cars for brake lights and signals. I'm also looking for driveways with cars sticking their noses out. Now if you have a look at the guy in front, there. Now with this sort of hazard, you need to back off, slow down and confirm is he going to jump in front of you. The last thing you want is not notice this hazard, have the examiner intervene and then give you an F6 fail on him. As we approach, we can see he's not a problem, he's just getting to his car, so we continue on. At the T intersection, turn right. Okay, so we now have a right turn at the T intersection instruction. So we check our mirrors, we'll slow a bit, got our right signal on. In front we've got a red car, we need to make sure he's cleared. Now with the T intersection, you need to confirm whether we have a stop sign scenario or giveaway sign. Now there is no stop sign, there's no solid stop line, so it will be treated as a giveaway sign. Now the visibility here is not the best, so you need to creep up really slowly. If you have a look to the right, it's those parked cars that are blocking your view. If you have a look at the left, it's a parked car that are blocking the view. Push up very, very slowly to you can see, and when there's a safe gap, you complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so I've noticed I'm near a school and there's a school zone. However, I've checked my time and the school zone has not been activated yet, so I'm not restricted to 40 k's an hour. However, I'm not too fast because there's a lot of parked cars pretty close on the side. Now that I've got a bit more space in the side, I can pick back up to about 55 k's an hour, five short of the 60 k limit. Continue straight. 
Okay, so at this point, I just maintain my speed, just 5k is under limit. I continue my scans with the parked cars, looking for signals and brake lights. And I'm also checking all the driveways and side streets for cars that might enter from the side. Now, if you have a look on the right, this guy. Now, he has come up fast from the side street. You immediately need to come off the accelerator and onto the brake a little bit and watch him to see if he jumps in front of you. You need to be ready. Okay, so we're watching him. He's coming out a bit, watching him, watching him. Okay, it's all good. We can continue on. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue on, check mirrors, maintain space with the car in front, keep checking your speed, be under the limit, continue your scans with parked cars and side streets and driveways. Okay, and now we simply wait for our next instruction. Take the next right. Okay, so we have a right turn instruction. We'll check our mirrors, put the right signal on. Now it is a T intersection, we're on the priority straight and we're turning into the side street. We give way to oncoming traffic, the guys on the right have to give way to us. Okay, we've checked our mirrors again. Now, oncoming is safe. I'll just check to the right anyway. Good, no one's gonna cut in on us, and we complete the turn. Can you please perform a reverse parallel park? Pretend there is no driveway. Let me know when you are finished. Okay, so we approach the car with mirrors indicate shoulder into what I call the start position, about a meter between the cars, and line up the steering wheels or the mirrors. Straight away into reverse. Reverse camera comes on. Now we look around the vehicle. I call it the 360 degree check. Right shoulder, mirrors, left shoulder, right over the car. Check no one's coming up behind us. If all good, start backing. Check the back, check the side. Check the back, check the side. Take yourself back to the rear tire, then left lock on the steering wheel. Now we go to the angle. Check the back, check the front. Check the back, check the front. I like the angle to be just short of 45 degrees, probably about there. Stop and recenter, not right lock. Check the back, now we adjust in, get our rear tire just off the gutter. As we get off the gutter, we get uh, to that point, now we bring it around to the right. Check the back, check the side. And then once we're parallel, we will um, recenter our steering wheel, and then we'll do the final position. We're gonna move up to the bumper. So back into drive, push it up to probably about there. Handbrake, park, and then tell the examiner that you're done. When you are ready, please leave the curb. Okay, pop it in reverse, handbrake off, check around the car, right shoulder, mirrors, left shoulder, I call it the 360 degree check, look out the back window while reversing. Every now and then, check the front, check the back, check the front, that looks like enough room. Pop it into drive, check your mirrors. Now, put your right signal on for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then check over your shoulder, if that's safe, okay, proceed straight ahead continue straight okay so we continue straight got a truck on the left there I just back off check behind it maintain speed continue scans checking the park cars for signals of brake lights check the driveways for any cars that might be sticking their nose out and we wait for our next instruction at the T intersection turn left okay so we have a T intersection left turn instruction we start the slow check the mirrors got the left signal on might just check my shoulder because I was about to move into the left there there's no stop sign, no stop line. The vision's pretty good. I'll just roll through that and keep going. At the T intersection, turn left. Okay, so again, mirrors, left signal. I'm pretty close to the parked cars on the curb. No shoulder needed. There's no stop sign, no stop line. Treat like give way. Now, there is a car there, but he's very slow. So I've decided I'll get it in front of him. He's so slow that I won't slow him down. That will be a safe gap. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight, maintain speed, continue to scan for hazards from the parked cars, driveway, side streets, and we wait for our next instruction. At the T intersection, turn right. Okay, so we now have a right turn instruction at the next T intersection. So, we'll check our mirrors, right signal on. Okay, confirm whether we have a stop sign or a giveaway. Now look at that truck there. It's gonna slow a bit in case he comes in our path. All good. Now let's look at our visibility. Now there's not good vision here. As you can see, that truck on the right is blocking our view. And on the left side, we've got some parked cars on that side. We've got to creep up very, very, very slowly until we can see. Now we can see there's a truck on the right. We need to give way to him. Updating the left. Get this truck out the way. Now we're going to need to move in a little bit more. Sometimes you've got to get uncomfortably in here. Centimeter at a time so you can see just the bare minimum you need. When it's safe, just go. Don't hesitate, just get straight onto it. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight, got a few parked cars on the left, maintain speed and continue with your scans. Check the parked cars, driveways and side streets. At the T intersection, turn left. 
Okay, so left turn instruction at the T intersection. So as always, we'll check up at our mirrors. Left side signal on. We don't need the shoulder here. We're pretty close to the curb. Is this configured a stop sign? Yes. Roll through this and you will get an F1 fail item like many have before here. Lock it down with a bounce bumper within one meter. Now you can push over the line to see better. I want the low risk approach, all lanes clear and a safe gap. When you've got the safe gap, make the turn. Continue straight. Okay, we're now on the Camden Valley Way and it is 80 k's per hour. Up ahead, we notice the traffic light. It is displaying a red circle. So we're gonna stop with our bumper within one meter of the first line. If you stop over that first line, you are out F1 fire liner. Okay, so when it goes green, you will be required to check the intersection to see if anyone is running the red. So when this goes green, I will look to the right and I'll check. Now notice I turned my head. That's how the examiner will mark it. Now, this is one of a short list of head checks. If you accumulate three head check errors, you are out. F19 fail on it. Continue straight. Okay, we continue. I notice the speed limit is now back down to 60 k's an hour. Okay, so we're coming up to some higher risk areas. Now that white car on the left, I'm off my accelerator. I'm covering my brake. Casey jumps out in front of me. I don't want to queue up in this intersection, but there is room to fit. So we pull up behind the car in front. Now, stopping space, I want to see a little bit of road behind the tires of the car in front. So this is good. We sit here and wait until the traffic starts to move forward. Continue straight. Okay, as you proceed, keep plenty of space for the car in front. Now there's a lot happening here. The lane beside us is all queued up. Okay, I need you to be ready for the unexpected. Someone in that right lane might just jump quickly in front of you. So not too fast down here. Be ready. At the second traffic light, turn left. Okay, so we have an instruction to turn left at the second traffic light. This is the first traffic light. The second traffic light is just after it. Now the good news is we're already in the left-hand lane, the, the lane we need to turn left from. So we don't need to do a lane change. Now, because these two sets of lights are close together, they get queued up. This, if the second light's red, it queues into this first set. Now, if we get ourselves stuck in the middle and block the intersection, we get an F15 fail on them. Okay, so our light's gone green. We're gonna very carefully start to proceed forward. Uh, we need to look ahead to see if it's getting queued up. In my opinion, it looks okay. The second light actually is green and it's not queuing. We're turning left. So as always, we'll check up at our mirrors, put our left signal on. Now, if you have a look up ahead, the turn lane has a painted island. See that island there? Now, we're gonna go around that. We're gonna diverge, but we'll need a left head check blind spot in case someone drives up that flat island. This is a standard left turn. There's no red arrow. We can complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, lots happening. Keep it slow. Check the right, check the left, check these driveways, check for cars that are sticking their nose out. Now, I want you to have a look up on the right there. Now, I've zoomed up a little bit, but you can see that there's two black cars coming out the shopping center. Now, the one closest to us is most probably turning left. Now, the other car, which the yellow arrow is pointing to, he's the one I'm more worried about, because when he turns right, he may jump into our path. Now, in a second, I'm gonna proceed with the video. There's gonna be a moment when we're very vulnerable, when the guy that turns left blocks the view between the other black car seeing us and us seeing him. And that's when we just gotta be backed off a bit and ready for them. Okay, so this is the moment we are most vulnerable. Behind that black car is the other car. They can't see us, we can't see them. We need to be very, very careful here in case they jump out behind that black car. Okay, we proceed carefully, and there they are. And gladly for us, they didn't pull out, but we were ready for them. And that, folks, is what's called safer driving. Your examiner will love that. Take the next right. Okay, so we have a right turn instruction, check my mirrors, put my right signal on. This is a modified T, oncoming have a stop sign, the curb is a priority. I look around, all is good, we make the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight, I've got to remember that the speed limit here is 50. I want to keep under the speed limit and I continue my scans with all the parked cars, driveways and side streets. Got a coach here, I often back off a little bit with these, you can't see in front of them. Uh, that's all good, we proceed straight ahead. At the roundabout turn left. Okay, so we've got a few things to process. We've got to turn left at the roundabout, but we've also got a crossing here and a bus stop. So I'm, I've slowed down, I've checked, I've got my, done my mirrors, got my left signal on. Now with the roundabouts, we've got to see if it's safe. We check the right zone. 
there's a white couple of white cars there I need to hang back till it's safe right zone that guy on the right he's not stopped he's still coming after him looks pretty safe oncoming looks safe okay we can complete the turn continue straight okay so we proceed straight keep the space with the car in front keep under the speed limit keep checking for hazards take the next right Okay, we've got to turn right, but we've got a few parked cars here, particularly this truck. I've got to slow it right down. There's not a lot of space there. Also, the car on the left, I'm watching. Now, we check our mirrors, indicators on. Oncoming is safe. We can complete this turn. Follow the bend around to the left. Okay, so we have a left-hand bend. This does not need a signal, but look, you need to slow it down. About 20 k's an hour, because you can't see, and you need a speed that's comfortable. Can you please pull over to the curb, shut the engine off, secure the vehicle like you were getting out of it and let me know when you are finished. Okay, so the curb stop maneuver, we check the mirrors, put the indicator on sufficiently, do a left side blind spot head check, and then we position the car at the curb, get the left tires on the gutter, and not be in the driveway. We can check it. Now, shut down, handbrake on, into park. We turn off the signal. We turn the engine off. We take our feet off the pedals, and you tell the examiner that you're now done. Can you please start the car and pull out when safe? Okay, to start, foot brake on. Make sure the car is in park. Make sure the handbrake is on. Start your car. Pop it in the drive. Handbrake off. And then check your mirrors. Put your signal on for five seconds. Then do a right side blind spot check, and when safe, pull out and proceed. At the cross street, can you turn left? Okay, we have a left turn instruction. I've checked my mirrors. I've got my left signal on. I don't need a left shoulder here. I'm pretty close to the curb. I'm on a cross street. I have a give way sign. I check to my right. I can see it's safe. So I can just roll through the give way sign and complete the turn. Take the next left. Okay, so we have a T intersection, mirrors, put the indicator on. I do not need a shoulder here, I'm close to the curb. There's no stop sign or stop line. I can treat it like give way. I look to the right, the vision is not the best. So I creep up, I can now see it's safe, I can complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so we do our usual, keep under the speed limit, keep space with the car ahead, keep checking for hazards from the sides. Take the next left. Okay, so we have a left-hand instruction, check my mirrors, I've got my left side signal on. Again, I don't need the left shoulder here, I'm close to the curb. I simply just slow, there's no one to give way to here, and we complete the turn. Can you pull over and perform a three-point turn? Okay, three-point turn time. Check our mirrors, put an indicator on, check the shoulder. Pulling into the curb, same like the curb stop, get the tires on the gutter, not in the driveway. Okay, once we stop, make sure it's clear ahead. Mirrors, click the signal for five seconds. One, two, three four, five, right side blind spot head check, and full right lock, head over to the curb, get close, but don't hit the curb. I like to steer back to the left, pop it into reverse, check up and down the road. Now look out the back window as we go backwards, look out the front, look out the back, look out the front, once we've got clearance, okay, spin it back to the right, pop it into drive, now check up and down the road, left, right, all safe, and off you go. That's your three point turn. Take the next left. Okay, left turn instruction, mirror indicator. Don't need a shoulder close to the curb. There's no stop sign, no stop line. Treat like give way. We give way to the right. Now you've got a red car, and then there's another car. We look, it's safe after that white car. We can proceed and complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight for a little bit, keeping under the speed limit, keeping space for the car in front, and continually checking side to side for hazards. At the roundabout, proceed straight ahead. Okay, so we're proceeding straight ahead at the roundabout. Now, got a car in front. We need to keep them a little bit of space. But once we get up there, we'll check our right zone and oncoming zone to see if anyone entering the roundabout. Right's looking good. Oncoming's good. Just keep on that left car. He's not jumping in great. Now, exit signal, flash, flash, and we exit the roundabout. Okay, so we're coming up to the crossing. We need to slow down a little bit and we need to check both sides to see if, if anybody wants to cross. This looks fine. We'll proceed straight ahead. As we come up, there's a lot of driveways. On the right hand side, you've got that white car. We back off, check that he's not going to jump out great. A bit further up, there's a driveway coming out of Audi on the left side. Now we need to slow down a little bit here. There's a few cars coming out. Okay, so they've got this white car. He's fine. There's also a driver on the right hand side. Yeah, that's fine. We, we're safe to proceed. Take the next left and then turn right at the traffic lights. 
Okay, so we have a double instruction. I've done my mirrors, got the signal on, got a giveaway sign. Now, low risk approach, we have all lanes clear, which I've got, and I'm gonna lane jump to the right hand lane because I know I'm turning right soon, and that lane jump was permissible. We've also entered a school zone, but I've checked the time and the school zone has not activated yet. Turn right at the lights. Okay, we checked mirrors, indicator on. We do not need a shoulder check with this diverge. It is a concrete medium strip. Okay, so the traffic light pattern is what I call green circle only. There is no right turn green arrow. So we can make this turn long as we give way to oncoming traffic or any pedestrians that might be walking on the right. Now the car in front has found a gap and they are now completing their turn. It's still green, so we can push in. We keep our wheels straight. We do have an oncoming vehicle. We will complete this turn either on a gap or on the yellow red. Now we have a gap. There's no cars, no pedestrians. We can complete this turn safely. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight, always checking all the driveways for any cars coming out. That car's now clear. Take the next right. Okay, so we have a right turn instruction. So as always, we will check up our mirrors. We'll put our right signal on. Now it's a T intersection, but we're on the priority straight. We give way to oncoming traffic only. We do have an oncoming vehicle. It looks like that's it. Have a look around and we complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an industrial area here. Not a lot of room with all the parked cars, lots of driveways. So we just take it very easy through here. Now there is a cross street, we are on priority, and I'm gonna check both sides. Check right, check left, no one's gonna come through. Turn right at the lights. Okay, we have one more cross street on priority, just before the lights. I wanna just check this guy on the left, not gonna run the sign, he's fine. Okay, proceed the lights, check the mirrors, indicators on, and we're just gonna move straight into the turn lane. Now it's a green circle only pattern, we can push straight in, there is no oncoming traffic, so we just have a look around and we just complete the turn in one go. Turn left at the lights. Okay, so we have a left turn instruction, we're already in the left turn lane. Now I don't wanna signal in front of the uh, shopping center driveway so I leave my signal just a little bit later okay mirrors signal probably now concrete island we don't need the shoulder check if we move in close to it we'll keep the left signal on this is a standard left turn and our light pattern is red left arrow and red circle we stop at the first line now because we are the first car at the uh, line the examiner will mark the head check checking for red light runners so when this goes green I will check over to the right before I proceed Okay, so we have green left arrow. So I do my head check, checking for anyone running the red, and I complete my turn. Continue straight. Okay, we proceed straight. A quick check to the left of that gray car is not gonna jump out on me, great. We're approaching a green light. Now we need to get ready for this light to turn yellow. If we can safely stop at the yellow, we do. So I back off a little bit. There's a point though where it's too dangerous to stop. We're probably there now, we'll commit. There's no queuing, so we'll keep going straight ahead. Okay, so this second light is red, so we'll need to stop at it. We'll check our mirrors, we start slowing. We're gonna be first car, so we get our bumper within one meter of the first line. Now, when it goes green, we need to head check the intersection before proceeding. The examiner will mark this check, so make the head movement obvious. Okay, so we have green, we'll head check right, head check left, and we'll proceed. Continue straight. Okay, so the speed limit here is 60. So if it's hazard free, we'll try and get up to about 55 k's an hour. Now on the right hand side is a street to McDonald's. So we're just gonna have a glance that nobody's gonna come out at us. That looks all fine. Continue straight. Up ahead is a change in speed from 60 to 80. Now here's where you get a classic F5 fail item when the student picks up the speed too early. Stay under 60 to the 80 and then pick it up. Now we do have a set of lights. Don't wanna pick up too much till we know it stays green. Yep, stay green and we proceed straight ahead. Okay, so the question I might get asked is, why don't I move the student into the left lane? Okay, now the reason I get them to stay in the right hand lane is purely a Gregory Hills thing. I know that at two sets of lights, they're gonna turn right and go back to the test center. Now, if I get them to move into the left lane, they might find it a bit hard to get back into the right hand lane, particularly if the first set of traffic lights goes red and the traffic compresses up a bit. So I get them to stay in this lane. Now there is nothing illegal about this. Keeping left unless overtaking, that law only applies if the speed limit is greater than 80 k's now. Now the speed limit here is 80, so there is nothing illegal about staying in this lane. I do encourage the student to sit right up on 80 though. At the traffic lights proceed straight. Okay, for this lights, we back off a little bit, getting ready for the yellow, but we're now too close. We're good to commit, take it through, have a look around. Continue straight. 
Okay, so we continue to head straight ahead. We're sitting close to 80. We're nearly back to the test center to get our peas. So we do have a car behind us. He's sort of there, not super close, but he is there. We'll just keep track of him. At the traffic lights, turn right. Okay, so we've got a right turn instruction at the next traffic lights. Now we're already in position in the right hand lane, but there will be a turn lane coming up. So as always, we'll check the mirrors. We'll put our signal on. If we get in early, we won't need the shoulder check. Now, I like to get in this lane because at Gregory Hills, you turn right and then you turn left again. So we just queue up in this left-hand lane. Now, stopping space is good. I can see a bit of road behind the tires and we simply wait for the green arrow. Now, the guy in front looks like he might be moving into the right-hand lane. So feel free to move up closer to the car in front. Same deal, see a little bit of road behind the tires there. So you're not right up on his bumper. Now we have a green right arrow pattern. Now we are a few cars back. So I'm a little bit worried that by the time we get going, our light might go yellow. Now we've got to try and stop at the yellow. So we aren't that fast, but we get to a point where we're too close again, we're gonna commit. Now, it's a dual turning lane. Make sure we stay fully in our lane and we complete the turn. Continue straight. Okay, so we continue straight for a bit. Just make sure you keep the space with the car in front and keep an eye out for driveways and any other cars that might enter our space. Take the next left. Okay, so we get our left hand instruction, we'll check our mirrors, left signal on, we do not need a left shoulder here, we're pretty close to the left curb. Now, we might just keep our eye on this car, this white ute, he doesn't turn in front of us. It's all good, we can complete the turn. Take the next right. Okay, so we make a right turn back into the car park. We check our mirrors, got the right signal on. We'll need to give way to the oncoming traffic. Keep the wheels straight until this black car has given us room to turn. Great, it's all safe, make the turn. There's a crossing here, always check both sides. Is anyone walking on the crossing? In the car park, just do about 20 k's now, not too fast. Make sure you're checking everywhere. Take the next right. Okay, so I check my mirrors, put the indicator on. Now these intersections in the car park, don't have much view and much space. Now if you have a look at this guy on the left, now I have to give way to him, but he's waving me on. Now if anyone that you have to give way to waves you on, do not go, otherwise you will get a fail on him. But this situation is different. There's not much room and he believes he needs me out of the way so he can complete the turn. If that's the case, then that's okay to go. Okay, make sure it's safe before you proceed. Okay, so basically we're back to the test center. The examiner will find the first available spot for you to park in. It'll You'll always drive forward in. So I'm gonna turn right here with my signal and I'm just gonna pick one of those bays there. Got that blue car there, he's fine. Okay, I'll just go in behind this red car. They don't mark this park, so you just get it behind the car, shut it down, uh, put it in park, handbrake on, grab the keys and follow the examiner in for your result. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for my first mock test video. Now, I'm gonna do lots of these in various formats. Now, you need to remember, the aim of the mock test video is simply to show you the flow of a driving test, okay? They're not designed to teach you how to reverse park or three-point turn or how to turn right at traffic lines without an arrow. For that, go to the particular video that teaches that. So, once you've learnt that stuff, then you can watch the mock test videos and see how we apply it in real time under pressure with an examiner there marking you. Okay, so if you have any questions or any thoughts, you can post them below. You can contact me on Facebook Messenger or email me. All those links are in the description section below. Okay, so I did get the dual control fitted to this automatic car. So I'll be taking automatic students soon in the MacArthur area who want one-on-one -on -one on road lessons. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so if you're new here, please press the subscribe button, like button, and the notification button. And as always, stay safe.